Well, hello. I was tagged by Tony over at Action for Aging to do a tag, and it's called uh, Get to Know Me. As if you don't already know me, but you know, whatever. And so there's a lot of questions, and so, you know, I can get long-winded, so let's get let's get a cracking, crack a lacking, as they say. Uh, what are you wearing? I'm wearing my favorite black sweatshirt that says, All that wander, All who wander are not lost, and it's a buffalo, and some black jeans, my winter apparel. Um, have you ever been in love? Well, we all know I was in love with Chuck Sybeck, who didn't even know I existed. Chuck, if you're out there, you lost out big time. But no, I'm in love with Jim. Jim and I, in Jan on January 18th of next year, will have been together for 51 years. We've been married for 46. Uh, have you ever had a terrible breakup? Jim and I did break up once. Um, we did. I did it on a dare. His brother dared me to break up with him because his brother wanted to go out with me. And I didn't really particularly like his brother, but I, I didn't think that Jim would really break up with me. And he did. I couldn't believe it. But we got back together. Um, how tall are you? I'm five. Well, I will tell you that I'm five foot nine and a half, but I'm shrinking. I'm probably about five eight right now. Uh, how much do you weigh? This morning I weighed 249 on my scale, but on Weight Watchers I weigh 250.3. Um, any tattoos? No, but I would get one, but I don't have one. Any piercings? I got three in this year and two in this year. But I never wear earrings. I don't know why. OTP. Hmm. Don't know what that means. Uh, favorite show? I love Big Brother, Survivor, Amazing Race. Amazing Race would be my favorite. Uh, if I ever was thin enough and young enough, I would I would have won on that show. Um, favorite bands? I love the Beatles. I still do, even though they're not together anymore. And... Um, I don't really have any favorite bands that are out right now. Something you miss. I miss my parents. I do. I miss them a lot. And my sister and my brother. They're up in heaven watching out for me. Um, favorite song. Well, right now, my favorite song is by Pink. And I um, can't think of what the name of it is. It's my favorite song. It could be my favorite song if I can't remember the name of it. What about us? There it is. What about us? It's my favorite song right now. Uh, how old are you? You don't want to know how old I am. I never tell my age. Never. Never. Yes, I do all the time. I'm 67. Um, what's your zodiac sign? Virgo. The virgin. And I was a virgin when I got married. And I'm proud of that fact. Not very many people will admit to that, but I'm proud of that fact. Uh, quality you look for in a partner. Uh, someone that's going to support you no matter what. Someone's going to put up with all your, you know. There's a lot to put up with with me. And so Jim does it very well. Um, favorite quote. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Because you know I love quotes. Uh, favorite actor. Harrison Ford. What can I say? Before that it was Steve McQueen. Uh, favorite color. Black. It's my signature color. Steel Magnolias. Um, but actually, pink was her signature color. Loud music or soft? You know, I really like both. I really do. I, I depends on my mood, but I like both. Uh, where do you go when you're sad? I come back here. I put my hood up. And just sit like that. I, that's what I do. Uh, how long does it take you to shower? About 10 minutes. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? 15. I can get set my clock, get up, take my shower, brush my teeth, do all my necessary stuff in the bathroom, go to the, brush my teeth, out the door. 15 minutes. Uh, how long does it take you, oh no, have you ever been in a physical fight? Yes, I have. I was in a physical fight when I was 10, 11, something like that. I was fighting with Sandy Thompson and I had just uh, bruised some ribs and she punched me in the ribs, and I hauled off and socked her in the mouth just as the principal was coming out. I got suspended. Sandy didn't. Um, Turn-ons. My turn-on is just hearing my grandkids laugh, or any kids, any families together. Watching a family together and uh, just seeing the love is a turn-on for me. A turn-off is when a parent belittles their child. I just, you know... 
you can get really upset with your children and you can I cuz I know they can do things that just try your every nerve but uh I I can't stand when somebody puts somebody down or bullies somebody whether it's a parent or somebody else if I see if I see somebody bullying somebody outside I'm going to step in I don't care who you are you can get mad at me I don't care I'm going to step in I'm going to tell you you know you don't need to be doing that um the reason I joined YouTube my sister actually joined this, made this channel, started this channel, and I um, horned in on her. I was just a a, a weekly visitor, and then uh, she got tired of doing it, so I took over. And now look at me, the biggest ham in the world. Um, fears. I'm very strong, strong in my faith. I know that there's a God. I know I'm going to go to heaven, but I fear death. I just do. I, I just fear. I fear death. I really do believe that there's pain in death because there's pain in birth. But you don't remember the pain in birth. So I'm hoping you don't remember the pain in death. Although I've seen people die and they seem pretty peaceful. But that doesn't mean that they weren't having some kind of pain they weren't sharing. I know. I'm weird. Um, the last thing that made you cry. I just watched um, This Is Us. I love that show. So that is one of my favorite shows too and it was just so sad and, and they made me cry and I did cry I will cry during a sad show and I'm not ashamed of it I really am not I, I'm ashamed to cry in public <laughs> I've told you that I don't like to cry in public because I do think it's a sign of weakness but there is a time and place for crying you can cry at a funeral you can cry at a sad show when you're sitting in the you know in the comforts of your home you can cry in the show because it's dark and people don't see you but you don't walk down the street and cry no um the last book you read i've read so many books it's kind of hard to remember this is the book i'm reading this is the book i'm reading right now i love the uh, joanna fluke books um this one is the Banana Cream Pie Murder. Never want to live in this town. There's a murder every time you turn around. Every week there's a murder. Or But, uh, no, I like that. I like Stephen King, Jana Devanovich, uh, Kurt, uh, Harlem Coben, um, Patricia Cornwell, I'm trying to think, Sue Grafton. Uh, there's a lot of different authors I like. Um, the last person you talked to was Jim. The relationship between you and the last person you texted, well, that was my sister Denise. I'm trying to get Josh a job at the Country Inn where David worked. David doesn't work there anymore because he works at Jet's Pizza. So I talked to the manager. She took my number, and she's going to give Josh a call. Your favorite food. <laughs> Is there not a favorite food that I don't like? My favorite food would be the turtle cake. Is my favorite it would be a cake. But as far as a, a favorite food that I would want to eat all the time, I like cheesy potatoes. I See, I like all the fattening things. You notice I didn't say I love celery. I love broccoli. Oh, cauliflower, give me more, give me more. <laughs> I do like all of those things, but, you know, there, there's not anything I'm going to crave. Um, place you want to visit. I would love to go to Ireland. My father was from Ireland. Uh, my grandparents were born there. And uh, my father was actually born here, but my grandparents were born in Ireland. And uh, I just always wanted to go back there. Not the back there. I've never been there, but I want to go there. Um, do you have a crush? No, not really. I, I'm married to Jim. I guess that's my crush. Last time you kissed someone. That would be Jim, and that would probably be about an hour ago. Last time you were insulted. <clears throat> hmm. Sorry about that. Hairball. Um, I forgot I was on camera when I did that. <laughs> that's like when you fart or something you don't do that in public well now that brings me up another subject how come you can't fart in public but you can burp and just say excuse me things that go through my mind um the last time you were insulted you know what i don't i'm sure somebody's insulted me along the way but i just figure that's your opinion i don't care you know you can say what you want about me and i've told you before um if people look at me and say think oh my god look how big she is Take a look. Take a second look. Take a third look. If you want to take my picture, I'll stand there. You can take my picture. <laughs> you are not going to hurt my feelings. Forget it. I, I just think too much of myself to worry about what you think about me. Although I'd like you to like me. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but, I mean, everybody wants to be liked. Nobody wants somebody not to like them. But uh, 
I'm not going to go out of my way to get you to like me. If you don't like me, you don't like me. We're not going to like everybody in the world. That's why there's so many people in the world. I bet you didn't know that. Favorite flavor of sweet? Well, chocolate. That goes without saying. What instruments do you play? Hmm. None. Would love to play the piano. Favorite piece of jewelry? Which could it be? What could it be? What could it be? I don't wear jewelry. Um, last sport you played? Hmm. Can't think of the last sport I played. I play catch with the kids, but I mean, that's, you know, that's not really a sport. I used to play baseball. I was a mean shortstop. I really was. Mean meaning good. I really was a good shortstop. Not to brag, but I was pretty good. Um, last song you sang. Well, unfortunately, I sing almost every day, whether people want to hear it or not. The dogs in the neighborhood are putting up a petition to, to ban me from singing, but the last song I sang was What About Us? Favorite chat up line. Hey, baby. How you doing? I don't have a chat up line. I've been married for 46 years. I'm not out there looking for anybody. Um, have you ever used it? No. Uh, last time you hung out with anyone? I'm trying to think of who I hung out with. Well, I went with Birdie to the play uh, last Saturday. Who should answer these questions next? Well... Gina Pearson for sure, because uh, she's my partner in crime. And I don't know that she'll have time because she's busy. She's got two jobs right now. That was only supposed to be for a couple weeks back in September. And look, at we're in December and she's still working two jobs. Also, Weight Watchers with Carrie, because she's my inspiration now. She's hit her 100 pounds and she's staying there. Although Kim from Fit and Fabulous Mama is too, but she's, she has a lot on her plate right now, I can tell. So I won't, I'm not tagging her. But check out her channel too. She's really informative. And a new one I just started watching is N is for Nurse. So I'm gonna, those are the three I'm going to recommend. So um, hopefully you got to know me a little better. I know I'm a wackadoodle. That's just who I am. But... Uh, I like doing tags. I really do. And I, I'm glad you got to know things about me. If there's anything you want to know about me that I didn't answer in these questions, throw them in the comments below and I will answer them for you pronto. Because I do pride myself on answering my um, comments the very next day. I do take great pride in that. There I go again, patting myself on the back. So I'll see you guys on my daily vlog. Check me out.